Laravel 11.11 came out last week and it included two new methods on the collection class. So in this video, let's take a look at this. So right here, I just have a basic uh, empty collection. And what I'm gonna do is just gonna seed this and let's say range one to 12. Um, you know, for the purpose of this video, let's pretend this is, you know, 12 months and we're gonna use it as sort of a range of months within a year. All right, so now we can just call collection and after. Um, for instance, right now it's June, so let's say what comes after June, which would be the six months, sixth month. Um, and right here, you can see, boom, it points out to a seven. Uh, of course, you can do the inverse, you can do uh, before, so that will give us five. And even you can do like, let's say before one, which in this case, will not be anything because, you know, one would be the first month or the first item in the array. Um, and that will throw out a null. Same way, if it can't find anything, it will, again, return null. So these are handy little features. Um, for me, you know, kind of the biggest use case I could see is like when you have a an array of like, you know, just a, an array of values and you and you have a known thing that you're looking for and you just want to go kind of before or after that um, sort of maybe like pagination in some way or kind of like getting out a subset of something um, but this is again just a quick way of grabbing the item before the known one you know you know or the one after so um, this is available as of today and uh, you can start using this